Bristol High School is getting a failing grade from the health department. They say the conditions inside are too dangerous for students. They want the school closed immediately for repairs. But the city says not so fast. WBZ's David Robichaux is live in Lowell tonight. Roby? Paula, the city manager told me he woke up to a text message this morning informing him that the Board of Health had taken a surprise vote last night to shut down Lowell High for safety reasons. But the city manager says he's vowing to keep the school open because the board doesn't have the authority to make that call. Based upon what we see here, we made a recommendation to... Uh, um shut the place down. Board of Health member Dr. John Donovan showed us some of the safety violations at Lowell High from an inspection report. Here's the big one too as far as the uh, elevated pedestrian walkway. There's a broken conduit pinching wires and water entering. Wires exposed to water in a walkway kids use to go between buildings. Inspectors also noted gymnasium walls ripped apart exposing insulation and students told us about other problems. Sometimes there's like leaks in the roofs, I mean the ceilings or whatever so they like put trash cans or buckets underneath. The surprise vote by the Board of Health enraged the city manager because the board doesn't have the authority to close the school. It has no weight whatsoever other than it's bringing us a lot of hassle and a lot of public uh, relations nightmare today. Kevin Murphy says that many of the items brought up in the inspection report have already been fixed or are in the process of being repaired. He pointed out fire inspectors were at the school Thursday morning and submitted a passing grade. Everybody in city government, including the fire chief, uh, the buildings department, and the school department, feel that it is safe. John Donovan says the board knows they can't shut down the school, but they wanted to make a statement. What does he think about the city manager calling the vote incendiary? It's our responsibility to maybe light a fire under somebody's feet, the people that actually have the power to do something. The surprise vote comes one week before the city needs to make a decision over whether to renovate this old school or build a brand new one. That would be the most expensive high school in state history. Live in Lowell, I'm David Robichaux, WBZ News.